Today we're gonna whip up just a real quick batch of some raw milk chocolate ice cream. In my sifter, I have three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder that I'm just gonna sift down into this bowl. Sifting it removes all these big pieces. I just run my hand in there, knock them through. To this, I'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar and a third of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna whisk these things together, get them incorporated. To this mixture, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream with one cup of whole milk. I am using raw cream and raw milk. This is goat's milk from our girls and the cream is from our big, beautiful dairy cow, Miss Jewel. So I'm just gonna whisk all this together until it's nice and incorporated. As you can see, it's not separating any longer. That means our ingredients have incorporated. I'm gonna add a little splash of vanilla. I don't really measure vanilla, just more than a cap full, I guess, just depends. Whisk that in. And then I'm going to pour this into my Cuisinart mixer. The bowl just came out of the freezer. I keep my bowl in the freezer all the time because we have a family milk cow, so we make raw milk ice cream very frequently. I'm gonna scrape every bit of that goodness into your ice cream maker. No reason to leave any of it in the bowl. Unless you want to lick it out and test your mixture. Make sure it tastes good. Now I'm just gonna put this on top of my ice cream maker. I'm gonna add in the toggle piece. Put on my lid. See you in about 15 minutes. All right, ice cream's done. I'm gonna remove the lid. I'm gonna remove the toggle piece. And at this point, it's really like soft serve. It's not super hard and frozen. Though I have these ice cream containers. I will leave a link down in the description below for where you can get them. They were inexpensive and worth the money in my opinion because we use them so frequently and they can go in the dishwasher. They hold a fair amount of ice cream and they don't let your ice cream get freezer burned, which in my opinion is kind of crucial. So these are things that I never would have purchased before I had a uh, dairy cow, but now that we have so much milk and cream all the time, we have to make ice cream pretty regularly. So I've now purchased silly things. All right, so I'm going to take this and just pour this ice cream into this container and then let it finish setting up in the freezer. My husband loves his ice cream this way. He loves soft serve more than he likes regular, you know, super frozen ice cream. And this chocolate ice cream is his very favorite that I make. I like to mix things into my ice cream. At this point, it's pretty much a blank canvas, just some chocolate. You could add Oreos in here. You could add York peppermint patties in here. You could add peanut butter cups in here. You could add coconut and some dark chocolate bits would be really good. There's a lot of things you can add to this ice cream. So I'm gonna put on my silicone lid, pop it into the freezer, and we have ice cream tonight. <laughs> 